I've been about music my whole life, almost. Two years after I picked up the guitar and played E chord, I had an album out on Mercury Records. What was that album called? Richard Twice. The finest poet cannot tell you how I feel. The, tickle of the day of my accident, I was uh, hitchhiking on my way to work, and a friend of mine picked me up on his motorcycle. We were going down Burbank Boulevard. I remember seeing my friend flying off the front of the motorcycle. I had a dream that I was in a hospital bed and there was an old man in the bed next to me, just white haired old man like I am now. This guy says, uh, what are you doing in this room? You don't belong in this room. You're too young. If you survive this room, remember what I'm gonna tell you. God give me strength. He told me that he was 72 years old. His name was Mr. Higgins. I've lived my life really full. I've done everything you'd want to do. Yesterday, I was gardening, and I had a stroke. And that's why I'm in here. Whatever you do, live your life every day to the full. As full as you can. Lord, don't leave me between life and death. The doctor came in and he says, you know, we really need to remove this leg. I had never played guitar before. I had never sang a note, never put a rhyme together. Whenever I'd wake up in the middle of the night and have to get out of pain, I would pick up the guitar and start playing the guitar. Next thing you know, your brain has moved on moving away from the pain and on to the music. After I learned two chords, I started writing songs. I recorded in the B studio at Mercury. It was the first time I ever played any of these songs out of my bedroom. And the next thing I know, I'm in the recording studio with these Amazing musicians. Larry Nechtel from Bread, Louis Shelton, Last Train to Clarksville, Ron Tut, Elvis Presley's drummer, Jim Lowe, The Electric Prune, Don Gallucci, he had written a song called Louis Louis, Drake Levin, Paul Revere and the Raiders, Alex Haslam, Tremendous Man, Robert Horton. I don't know who he was or what his significance was. We were um, being groomed, I guess, to go onto a program called The Del television show. My next guest has just released his very first album. You're gonna love him. Please welcome Mr. Tell me a little bit about kind of the lead up to that one night. Okay, so the one night that ended my career. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I say that, I guess that's true. We had just cut the album and we're supposed to do a showcase for the music industry. Everybody that's gonna sign you to this and sign into that and this and that. The only performances I had done was a week at the candy company, and then I'm doing my debut. So we get up on stage, and it's all the record business. It was quiet, like you could hear a pin drop. We went to start to play, and no noise came out of the amplifier. Nothing. <laughs> Rick turns to me. He's got his back to the audience. He looks straight in my face and he goes, there's something wrong. Take it, Rich.
and it was on me. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the Bugs Bunny Shuffle. And I went to do a tap dance. I figured, I'm gonna crack everybody up. This is good. This is funny. All of a sudden, wait, I can't do this. This, it doesn't, this doesn't work. I don't have a leg. My whole brain just blanked. I don't remember what songs we played. I don't remember audience reaction. I don't remember anything of that, the rest of that night. I was gone. I wasn't there. I never went back on stage for 40 years or so. It, it ended just like that. I became a, a woodworker. If I heard music, I'd be back in the studio. I couldn't think straight, so I didn't listen to the radio the whole time. I ended up putting the radio aside. I, I didn't listen to music. And I did my job. I did woodwork. Almost still can't let it go. When I was really in tune with writing back in those first few years, I used to be able to rhyme ev everything. I would, I would just start playing something. The words would just come. This song, Mr. Higgins, came to me, and it was, uh, it was words that were given to me that before I knew I was going to write songs. It was one of my very first lyrics. When I was younger, the days were like candy. Now I'm older, and the days are like wine. Well, I used to sing songs of a young, happy freedom I knew. As a child, no feeling for time. And every day I live to the full. Do what I, do what I. Well, now I'm retired and I'm 72. I work in the garden and I've plenty to do. And if I had a chance, well, I know it sounds strange to vary my life. There's nothing I'd change. Cause every day live to the full Do what I do what I do what I don't know why lyric came easy. Lyric lyric just was my therapy, I think. It just had to happen when it happened for me to be okay. Right. 